Now, given all the rain we've been having this summer, we're probably all too aware of the clouds at the moment. But impressive and beautiful new images have emerged showing what could be the first new official cloud type since 1951. The Asperatus, or undulated wave, has come to the attention of the World Meteorological Organization after several pictures of the cloud were published on the website of the Cloud Appreciation Society. Well, joining me now to shine a little light through those dark clouds is the meteorologist Kirsty McCabe. So, Kirsty, tell me, is this a brand new kind of cloud that didn't used to appear or did we just never notice it before? I think more that we never noticed it. I mean, nowadays people have phones uh, with cameras just about everywhere and people are capturing these images and that's what kind of took it off. Somebody saw it and thought that doesn't quite fit into the current cloud classification. We've got a pretty good system that's been in place since 1802, but there are times when things don't quite fit and this is one of them. So what weather conditions create this kind of cloud? When might we be able to go out and see well, one? Well that's one of the interesting things they're looking at into the moment because clouds are classified based on things as height but also in terms of how they form and there's a little bit of a debate going on exactly how this new kind of cloud forms and that will reveal whether or not it is a new cloud variety or just something slightly different to what we're used to but it seems likely to be where we've got warm air and cold air meeting and I've heard it described as being like looking up from below the sea at a choppy sea and and that's what the cloud looks like in the sky. It's very dramatic, very visual images. So what does it take to be classified as a new cloud? Is it, is it likely that this is going to get the official status? Well, as you heard, we don't do it very often, but it would have to be approved by the World Meteorological Organization in Geneva, and they would have to say yes or no. And at the moment, I mean, they've been going on for quite a few years now, the campaign to get Asperatus undulatus officially recognised as a new cloud variety. So maybe in another few years, they might have a look at it. At the moment, it's quite a slow process. But if you see one, take a picture and let, uh, let the World Meteorological Organization know about it. The Royal Met Society as well will be very keen to see any pictures. Excellent. Kirsten McCabe, thanks very much for coming in and explaining <laughs> all of that to us.